OK. So this is basically doing the, if I move block 1, do I hit a solid? If I move block 3, do I hit a solid? If I move block 4, do I hit a solid? If I get through all of these and collide is still false, they're, able, they're allowed to move. So here, so if you don't hit anything, move them. Because if you hit any one of those, if it hit a solid block of any kind, this would become true on one of these three statements. So to move them, I need to actually set their x and y values to particular values. So I think I'm going to use the actual names. So global.block1.x. I'm going to use a shortcut, which is plus equals. That adds on to it. Actually, it'll be minus equals for that one. The y value, I'm going to add 32. The x value is going to be, let's see, plus equals 32. The y value is going to be minus equals 32 because it's moving to the right and up. The 4's x value is going to be to the right two blocks worth, which is 64. And up 64, which is two blocks worth. And also, when I'm all done with this, Rotate is now a 1, so it's actually been rotated. Yikes, that's a lot of code. And I'm paranoid, so let me see if this works. Yes, it works for half a rotation. So that was half of one shape's worth of rotation. OK, what about the other way? So if rotation is 1, what should happen? Well, it turns out that it's basically all of this, again, only you're going to reverse all the plus and minus signs. And it's going to be rotation equals 0. Because if I need to move it back, block 1 needs to check to the right and up, which is plus 32 minus 32. So it's basically the same thing down here. This is a dangerous thing to do, by the way, to copy and paste the whole thing. Because I have to make sure I do it correctly in every spot in here. Place meeting plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, all of these switch signs. And rotation 0. Make sure you get every single one, or something will go horribly wrong. OK. The other thing that might catch you is matching braces. Notice that if I put my mouse just to the left of a brace, it shows me the matching one. That will help you a lot. So make sure that the braces line up where they're supposed to. So shape 1 should end after all of this section here, all of the uh, rotation stuff. Rotation should just cover from here to here. This rotation should cover from here to here with block, with block, with block. Having one brace off will screw up the whole thing, so it's very car that's why I'm tabbing everything over, so I can visually see where all of the ta uh, braces go. All right. See if you can get the first shape to rotate. And if you can, then try going on to the 
T block, which is actually going to have four possible rotations. By the way, I like to draw these out so I can figure out where shape 1 goes, where shape 2 goes, where shape 3 goes, so on. 